Did that crack you up? All the he got a lot yeah. of attention. Yeah, it was really funny. And he's definitely not the kind of in the spotlight guy. He doesn't like to do interviews. He doesn't like to really talk on the phone much either. So it was really funny because he was kind of everywhere all over ESPN. So you were, I saw the photos of you in the locker room watching the Stanford game on the computer screen. Um, how much of the game did you get to see? And how much, what was your, how were you feeling toward the, those last couple of minutes of that game? Um, well, I kind of, I got to see bits and pieces of the whole game because I put it on my phone while we were heading to the gym and yeah. um, we had media a little bit and just other things that I would have to put away for. But uh, media ended after before, or around the middle of the fourth quarter, I think. So yeah. our whole team was kind of around the computer just watching the game and uh, it was horrible <laughs> watching the game. I actually felt like I was going to throw up and my legs were super, super wobbly. But then even after they won, we went out to practice and my legs were still weak. And I was like, oh, great. Now I'm going to have bad practice. <laughs> but... Um, um, no, it was it was really cool, and um, I had so much fun, you know, watching her celebrate after they won. It really, I could tell, it meant the world. Her. She probably never thought she would be in that situation um, throughout the years. So just for her to kind of go out like that, and her senior year, um, she's had such a great year. So it's been awesome. Was it a while before you got a chance to text her because you guys had to go out to practice? Yeah, yeah, I had to practice, and then I texted her after, and then um, yeah, she was super, super excited. It was crazy because our game was until the next night and so we still kind of have a, had a long time to wait to finally um, figure out if we were going to make it there so it was she was waiting for that too what you talked about getting to spend time with her last night it was awesome um you know we don't get to spend a time with each other ever during the season so to be able to see her and um, just see how much fun she's having here and how much fun i'm having here um, it was really cool what's something that you admire about her game um, she does everything that kind of doesn't show up on a stat sheet or maybe not recognized for awards or anything like that. So, um, she's always been, every coach we've ever played for, the favorite player by far. I think coach, our, my coach likes her more and he doesn't even coach her. So um, she does, um, you know, she dives on the floor, she does all the hustle plays and um, I've, she's kind of been an inspiration to me and I do want to play more like her. What do you think she'd say about you? Same question. Um, I don't know. I think she loves bragging about me a lot. I know she does. She always talks very highly about me. It's very, it's really, um, it's really awesome when she does. What will it be like tomorrow night when you're trying to get focused in on the game? Um, it's going to be tough. I was thinking about that. I'm not going to be able to watch the game really fully. I'll be able to just get updates. But um, at that point, um, it's. I had to focus on our game. And I can't be too caught up in uh, what they're doing. You know, obviously, I want them to win, and I want her to do well. But um, I still have to be ready to go for our game. What was it like seeing your sister? It was awesome. I got to see her um, before the banquet thing last night, and then uh, we hung out a little bit at the salute dinner too. It was fun. One of your wildest dreams. I mean, this is something when you're a kid, you know, shooting hoops. You talk about this, but to have it happen. Yeah, I mean, we've talked about it before. Um, college started before this year started, and um, how crazy it would be to play in the tournament because we didn't have a game scheduled during the year. Um, but then once the brackets came out, we kind of just looked at where we were in the, in the selection show and just been playing since then. And it's, it's crazy that we made it here. Yeah, it's fun. Did you, were you special. bummed? Did you bum when you didn't see yourself in UConn's bracket? Were you thinking, Was I bummed? Yeah, were you thinking, hey, we're not going to play until now. That's a lot of things have to happen. Were you, were you hoping that you would get her in the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I mean, wherever we went in the NCAA bracket, we were really excited. Um, I know my team was excited. We were the last ones called, which is pretty funny, and Lou's team was the first ones called. Uh, but yeah, no, um, either way, wherever we were, it was going to be fun. It is funny that we ended up on completely the only chance we'd make it is in the national championship game. But, I mean, we both made it to the Final Four, so if you happen. How about your dad, all the travel he's had to do? Last yeah. week we saw him in Bridgeport, he looked tired. Yeah, I mean, he, he came to our games in Kansas, our first round, too, and then he flew to Lexington to see us. And then to get to lose again the next day, he didn't sleep. He Because uh, our game was so late, he went straight to the airport, didn't sleep, and then just barely made it to lose game. And then came to my game and then lose game. So, yeah. How much did you watch Lou during the year? Oh, I watched every single game. Yeah. She How special you is this like, for you and your sister? Oh, super special. I mean, we're in the final four together on opposite teams. Someone just asked me, um, what's the difference? Like, I was here with Bonnie my freshman year. I was like, well, we were on the same team then, so it's different. But it's pretty cool to be able to go to the final four with both my sisters. Did you talk about this during the year that maybe y'all could meet now? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it before the tournament started. Like, this would be crazy if we met in the NCAA tournament. But we haven't talked about it much since the tournament started, except now that we're here in the final four. We're both.
both hoping to win this game. You said you're like a coach, you'll send her like tips, and I think you should be doing this or that. Can you run me through what, what the communication is like when, when you talk to her after a game? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I watch every single one of her games. Uh, I just want, want to see her do well. Um, I like to tell her like different things maybe that other people aren't talking about, whether, I mean, if your shot's not going, that's just what it is, but like defensive stops or just anything about other teams, and I just like to talk to her a lot. How about going to UConn for her? I mean, did you try to make her stay home? Uh, of course I wanted to play with her. I didn't try to make her do anything, though. When she was going through the recruiting process, Bonnie and I were already in college, so we were kind of apart then anyway. But she kind of does whatever she wants, so she was going to go wherever she wanted to go. She you know, said that you're the same thing you wants because you dive on the floor and you actually play defense. What's your thoughts on, on your, your relationship with him? I know he thinks the world of you. Yeah, I mean, he's a great coach, a great person. Um, I think Lou does a lot of those things, too. I just think he likes to say that to get under his skin. <laughs>